death and taxes are two things we can't escape. Increasingly, that's becoming the case for traffic jams as well, regardless of what country you live in. Forget buses. In the future, our commute could look quite different. Here at the Ames Research Centre, they are developing a new kind of transport infrastructure called SkyTran. Think driverless elevated pods that are controlled by software designed by NASA to control robots in space. Imagine a city where you didn't have cars everywhere. Imagine there's a, a cities where you could walk across the street and you didn't have to worry about being run over. This is what people want, is livable cities. Skytran is a lightweight, high-speed, urban, personal rapid transit concept designed around a network of elevated guideways and computer-controlled, magnetically levitated pods. It's a car and it's a train at the same time. The two-person pods are automatically routed over the network to provide unscheduled, on-demand, driverless public transport that takes people directly to their destinations without stopping. So am I right in saying that all of the technology and the science behind this system is actually not in itself particularly novel? It's well-proven technology that's been around in other forms for a long time. Well, the, the maglev is different. So ours uses a passive form of levitation. And what does um, that mean? That means there's no power used to levitate the vehicle. In traditional maglev systems, an electrical charge is passed through coils in the track to create levitation. But this design only requires an initial burst of energy for uplift. Think about an airplane. An airplane doesn't fly if it's sitting on the ground. Similarly, SkyTrain doesn't fly if it's stationary. You have to have at least 10 to 15 miles an hour forward speed before it takes off. Let's say a, a typical city puts in a 10-mile light rail system. They would spend between 500 million and a billion dollars. So that's 100 million dollars per mile. And your system would cost what per mile? W below 10 million. So, so less than a tenth of the traditional yeah. cost. The automated control system is operated by software NASA is helping to develop based on the same design principles used for its Mars rover mission. So it's an advance in computer technology. The computer technology bit is the bit that says, I want to go to uh, Maida Vale Road down, down there, and it takes me there. Yeah, and, it, and if there's two lanes of traffic coming together, it merges the vehicles without collision. Right. You know, humans are, are terrible at driving cars. Computers are actually much, much would be much safer to operate uh, personal vehicles. A new air transportation system named the SkyTran will be built in Tel Aviv in an effort to solve the city's traffic problems. Some 410,000 people populate the city with thousands driving to work daily resulting in heavy traffic. The city's authorities have encouraged bicycle commuting with renting systems, but that hasn't solved the problem. 
The solution is said to be the SkyTran, which will begin construction in three months. It is designed to move double passenger vehicle pods at a speed of 100 kilometers per hour on a magnetic levitation rail, which will be raised high above ground transportation. The system will be controlled by advanced computer programs, and passengers will be able to book vehicles through their smartphones. The magnetic technology will offer much lower prices than subways. The project is said to cost less than 7 million US dollars per kilometer, which is cheaper than other public transportation systems. The first phase of the project will see a 10 kilometer rail running through Tel Aviv to the Jaffa port. If everything goes well, hundreds of kilometers of additional rails will be built. Hey, Jim. Jerry. Thanks for coming by. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Well, it's my pleasure. You know I'm the CEO of SkyTran, and I'm always delighted to talk to people about SkyTran. What is it exactly? It's the Jetsons made into real life. It will actually take you from where you are to where you want to go without getting stuck in traffic. Very fast, very comfortable, relaxed. You can be watching television, being on your computer, sending emails, and you're going to like it. I already like it. <laughs> Are you kidding? It sounds wonderful. This is a high-speed rail system, essentially. I mean, it's not going to just go at like a 40, 50 miles an hour. This thing can zip. It can go up to 150 miles an hour. Okay. And we will go as fast as the passenger is comfortable with. And of course, as the system <laughs> is used more and more, the system will probably start going faster and faster because people will be more comfortable sure, with it. We'll adapt to it as well. Exactly. How close are you to building something like in a city environment or even around here where you can test that? Well, we're going to be building a full-scale um, SkyTran system here at NASA Ames Research Center. We use virtually no energy, and once we coat our guideways with solar panels, we'll probably be very close to energy net neutral. SkyTran is a sophisticated transit system, and it'll need an advanced computer system to keep it safe. That's why we're working with NASA, right? We want to make sure that computer system is safe and reliable. This is where Robert Berch's expertise takes the driver's seat. So here's a, a typical station. You walk up, get on, and, and board your vehicle. Here's the high-speed vehicles moving along, and then there's an off-ramp where the stations are. It'll be much safer than driving a car, I guarantee you. Is there a complete urban plan that you have? Like sure. how like you have multiple, I mean, thousands of them? And I'll show you a typical rush hour where we have about 5,000 vehicles. This is a wide shot of the whole city, or this is about a 10-mile network. And each of these circles are stations, and the, the vehicles are little squares here. This would be impossible and expensive to really put out into the real world, wouldn't it? Because it's so lightweight, it's 10 times cheaper than any bus or train system and probably 100 times cheaper than building a highway. The modules are mass produced in a factory and then all you need is poles on the sidewalk, put up your steel guideway and it all comes together like a tinker toy. So it'll have magnets all the way down the line? Is that how it, it'll work? It would be too expensive to do, do it that way. The magnets are only in the vehicle. There's coils in the guideway and when the magnets fly by the coils, it induces a magnetic field, which then lifts the, the vehicle. And, and takes away the friction element of it and allows it to move much, much, much faster. Think about it just like using your iPhone to reserve a movie, right? You, you put your destination to your phone and it calls up a vehicle and it t tells you what time the vehicle will be at the station or you tell the system what time you want the vehicle to arrive. Now, can people have their own vehicles? Absolutely. I, I think initially it'll start where everybody shares the vehicles, just like mass transit. How close are you on this? Basically, the, the system is ready to go. We just need to add water and mix. Well, I hope you get it out there soon, because you're right. doing, you'd be doing a great service to all of us out there who have to fight the, the daily commute. At the NASA Ames Research Center and NASA Research Park, scientists, engineers, and entrepreneurs are collaborating on what could be NASA's most vital mission to date, applying space technology for the preservation of our planet. Keeping our planet green and healthy for future generations is the next giant leap for mankind.